Welcome to another Diverse Solutions video tutorial and in this video we're going to show you how to use DSID Express to give site visitors an opportunity to find MLS content and search MLS content on your website. Once you've installed and activated DSID Express what you'll find and the great thing about it is that it takes every single listing as it hits the MLS and it creates what we call a virtual page for that listing. So here, the URL that I'm visiting is mysite.com forward slash IDX forward slash city forward slash Irvine. And what it generates is this uh, page that sits on your domain, thereby indexable, with all of the listings in the city of Irvine. Here, you'll notice that the default text that we use is real estate in the and then city of Irvine. It's showing properties on, on the map with property markers on that map and if you hover over each one it'll display a thumbnail for that listing along with the basic details like the address, price point, and the number of beds and baths. You can hide or expand that map on default and of course you have your listings displayed in that fashion. Now just because all of those just because all of these pages are automatically generated doesn't mean that consumers necessarily have access to it. So what you'll want to do, and as you can see on this demo account here, I have my primary uh, widget area, and there's no widgets activated here. So what we do, the plugin is going to generate a unique page for every single listing as it hits the MLS, but it's also going to generate a page for listings by four different area types, cities, communities, tracks, and zip codes what you need to do is provide a way for site visitors to be able to actively search and find that content on your domain. So if you log into your WordPress dashboard and you go into your widgets section, just hover down to appearance, click on widgets, it'll bring you into this section here. The area that I have expanded is my primary sidebar and now what we do is we provide three different widgets for you to actively display and give site visitors access to your IDX content on your page. Those widgets are IDX listings, IDX areas, and IDX search. To act, they each function a little bit differently and that's what I'm going to give you an overview of. Now the first one that we're going to take a look at is IDX search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag that widget into the specific section on my sidebar where I'd like it to appear. Now the test data that I'm using is for Irvine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this widget a title of search Irvine homes. <coughs> Next thing is I can choose and decide what fields to display simply by selecting the checkbox. So here I have cities automatically filled out. What if I want to go ahead and display communities? I simply select the checkbox and what it'll do is it'll render an additional text text field for me for for me to go ahead and insert those the names of the cities and the names of the communities that I want to include. Now this field is going to be empty and what you want to do is insert cities one per line. Just because it's empty though uh, we don't leave you completely in the dark. There's a section right below that says see all city names. Click here. If you click on that link it'll bring up a pop-up window looks like this where you can just copy and paste all of those areas or, or all of the possible city locations. Now I am using test data so keep in mind that my list is relatively short whereas yours will be uh, much longer. But what I do is I copy and paste that into that text box and voila I will have activated a drop down of all of those available cities so that consumers can actively search. And same thing for communities. If I click on the link right below the text box, again it gives me a list of all of the possible community locations. What I want to do is highlight all of the names on that list, close out that pop-up window, and then paste that text or all the list into that text box. I'll click on save down below and I've just successfully activated my home search widget. Now I'm going to move on to the next two. The next one is the IDX areas. Again, I'm simply going to click and drag that into the respective location on my sidebar where I'd like it to appear. 
Now this widget is very useful if you want to activate it on say the footer of your website or on your sidebar. Uh, let's say you work in a very Los Angeles County for example is a very large uh, area consists of a very large area. So what if I only specialize in Westwood, Santa Monica, Brentwood, a very small subset of the bigger the bigger area. What I'm going to do is just simply title this our coverage areas. I want to select only uh, a, a, a sh select number of cities. And so here under areas, I'm just going to I can click on city names right below. Again, it renders this pop-up window and I can just copy paste each of the three or four areas that I specialize in. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that into my text box, click on save options, and I've just activated that widget as well. Now moving on to my last widget before I show you how these render on the home page, this one is IDX listings. Now I can use this in a couple of different ways. Uh, let's say I want to display listings in a specific area. So I might title this Irvine Luxury Real Estate. Um, let's say I want to show the top 10 homes for sale in Irvine above a specific price point. Or uh, I want to say latest Irvine Real Estate and I want to show again the top 10 homes for sale I want to show them in a list so that it provides a, a, just a, a list of links or I can choose to display the details or choose to plot those properties on a map I'll show you what e each of those options look like in a second but down below I'll pick an area my area type from the drop down is going to be city I'm going to go ahead and just title this Irvine since that's the area I wanted to pull up and since I've titled my widget Latest Irvine Real Estate, I want to show these or sort these based on the newest ones to have hit the market first. My other options are to go ahead and display listings associated with my agent ID simply by hitting this radio button or display listings associated with office ID simply by hitting that radio button. I'll go ahead and scroll down below to click on Save and I will have activated that widget. So if I go back to my home page and I just refresh this page the three available widgets that I've just gone and activated are Search Irvine Homes. I can click on that drop down, show me all the residential listings in Irvine. I can choose a minimum and maximum price point in addition to the square footage and the number of beds and baths. If I click on Search Properties, it takes me to the virtual page for listings in the city of Irvine. I, then down below, my Areas widget simply displays a bullet list with a hyperlink to each of the areas that I've said I can go ahead and specialize in. So again, if I want to see all of the listings in Laguna Beach, I click on that link and it takes me to the virtual page for real estate in the city of Laguna Beach. And then last but not least, here's my listings widget where I've chosen to display a list of the latest Irvine real estate. So I can cho choose to display these in a list where you have the SEO benefit of having more links on a page um, or I can choose to display the details in which case it'll render this sort of static slideshow and I can toggle between the next and previous listings uh, simply by hitting the buttons above and below it or I can choose to plot them on a map in which case it renders a map like this I can uh, hover over each of the property markers and if I click on them it'll take me to the virtual page for that specific listing my preference is to display these in a list either on the sidebar or footer of your website but once you've installed the plugin those are the the three options that I recommend for displaying listing data on your website and making it easier for consumers to be able to access uh, listing data once they do visit your website if you have any questions leave a comment right below and be happy to answer them for you otherwise thanks again for watching another diverse solutions video tutorial